Welcome to Jainam Software. In this video, we are going to see how the daily, weekly, and monthly collection can be managed in Jainam Software effectively. You know, daily, weekly collection is very uh, complex uh, collection system because the number of collections uh, are more actually in microfinance. And that's where actually the challenges of like synchronizing the system in real time uh, becomes very difficult. So hopefully you are also managing the microfinance and I understand you know the pain areas of uh, my microfinance business. I'll quickly discuss about what are the uh, pain areas. This is just like uh, uh, some examples. Like if your field collection visits the customer for collection, then there are scenarios where a customer is not available, then customer is willing to pay less as compared to the installment amount. Customer is willing to pay more sometimes. Customer uh, may not be available, available for a few days, so willing to pay advance amount so that uh, the customer is not willing uh, staff collection to visit again and again for a few days. Then customer can also say like not available now, come in the evening or come some other time, some other days. So these are, these are typical challenges. Then if you are managing your microfinance on paper, trust me, it's extremely difficult. If you are using Excel, then again, the challenge is like how you are going to uh, operate in a mass level or a larger size where you need to have, give access to your staff, your staff to make the interest. If you just uh, handle in Excel, then every time you should be available to manage that Excel. And many customers, uh, many microfinancers are using basically a typical software. I don't want to quote any example, but most of the softwares which are based on accounting, including uh, major players in accounting softwares, they even do not uh, provide a flexibility where microfinancers can manage their business extremely easy way. For example, if you have to disburse loan or receive amount, then you'll have to make a lot of different entries in system, which is obviously not required. If you, if you want to grow your business in very less manpower and very less time, so I'll explain you in real time how JNM software can synchronize all the different entries in fraction of seconds. All right. So again, thank you for watching this video. Let's get started now. So just to start with, in master setup, I have created two groups, North region, South region. Re groups are very important because whoever doing a group finance or individual finance, it is required to have the customers as part of group so that your collection and end to end loan management can be made very easily. Then after that, I have created two staff in HR management in employee list, like staff one, staff two, and I have also created their logins actually from HR management employee list. Then I have given access to this stuff. So for example, for staff one, I have given this access. So the field collection, loan collection list is the uh, area of uh, our focus in this video. And staff two, I have only given access to Loan collection list. Then in customer and summary, I have already created two customer here, and I have to create two customers here. If I go and check the status report all party list, there is no loan account created. I can also double check and make sure that there is no loan account created here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, loans for those four customers 
and then I'm going to uh, basically assign the group to a uh, specific staff for collection. So here I'll search customer. This is just wildcard search. Now I, I will get list of four customers here. So in a sequence order, I will give loan to first customer. I have selected a product that is loan type. I provide loan of 10,000, select yesterday's date and save. If I check details, per installment is 110. So obviously the due for this customer is 220. I can also search loan here one. How would I know this is loan number one? Because here it says loan number one is created. So I enter here and search. So due is showing 220. Now here I'll search customer two. I'll create loan, select product here, amount 20,000. Today's date, save, loan two created, installment 220. I search customer three, searched, I create loan. I will also explain how to create product loan type here or loan pro product scheme. 30,000, enter yesterday's date. Why I selected yesterday just for, for loan number three? Because this customer is following in another group actually. Customer one and two part of some other group and customer three and four are part of some other group. And then I'll create customer four. That's the last customer. You can also realize here creating entry is extremely simple. You don't have to worry about how accounting system is managing all my entries. That's automatically taken care. That's the beauty of Joinum software. I have created four installment, uh, sorry, four loans. Then I can see in all party list, four loans are created here. Okay. You can also come to know the region or the group of each customer from here. I just mentioned while creating loan, like uh, how to create a product scheme in master setup, you can go in product scheme and you can create a scheme. So for example, I have created personal 100 days collection scheme. Now let's say uh, you want to create a scheme where you want to collect loan every five days, right? So loan, select personal, scheme type, let's say uh, every five days collection at rate of interest you don't want to show to parties your staff you can just keep every five days collection okay and then for let's say 25 times or maybe i'll say 20 times okay the rate of interest this will not be shown to your staff or your customer monthly or uh, interest with principal now I'll create here 100 day and here I'll say five. Every five uh, interval it will create loan. Save, loan number four, uh, the product scheme fourth is created every five days. What I'll do, I will just create a loan on that just to explain like how it is created here, loan. Then I select scheme here and 10,000 and save details first installment is created on 3rd October then second installment on 8th October how many installments created 20 installments right so on after every five days actually the installment is created similarly you can create every 10 days every 15 days that way if you are doing in weekly every week every alternate week you can create that okay so now next about uh, let's come back to our uh, collection system then field collection list assignment here i have assigned one staff to one region and second staff to second region when we do collection one setting is required 
which is one time setting. I'll just explain. This is, is list assignment mandatory. That is yes. So here you can select money lending is list assignment mandatory. And by default, it's no. You can mention yes and add. That's one time activity. So I have already done it. Now what I'll do, I'll log out from here and log in from the collection agent. I have given multiple access to collection agent. This staff one. Uh, most importantly for uh, field collection is collection. So showing loan to customer one, customer two. I accept 220 from this customer and only 200 from this customer. But 20 is still pending. You can skip it so that it will appear in tomorrow's collection list. I sign out from here and then sign in from this customer. Uh, sorry, not customer, this from this collection agent. So I can see again three entries because two we created on one scheme and the third one created another scheme. I'll do simply receive, receive and receive, right? It is that simple. Just click receive and it, it will be done. Sign out. Then I'll sign in from business owner. And now if I go and check collection report staff, who has collected how much? So I can see here staff one collected 420 at different time interval and staff two collected accordingly. I can just say verify because when staff is doing collection, the amount is in staff's pocket. Once uh, staff will hand over that amount to the to the, to, to the office, then in that case, whoever the concerned person uh, can basically say verify. It means received and verified. Then once it's verified, in business summary, you can get that report in you can get the summary of your collection, daily collection here. You can also get the cash here. If uh, bank entries, you will get uh, related details here. Now, you know that for loan to, I guess, we received partial amount. If you can also check here installment details that here we received partial, received 200, expected 220. What we can do now, let's say 20, I can accept plus next installment 220. So total 240, I can enter here 240 and receive. Now what will happen? I check it here, two are green here now, okay? Installment tracker, which is tabular format, I can get here. And then in transaction, I can come to know, okay, staff one collected 200 and the admin collected 240. And similarly, again, if we go to collection report and then collection by staff, I can come to know who collected how much. So you can notice one thing here, the admin when collected automatically it is coming in verified. No need to verify that amount or that collection. There are so many reports here under collection report. In status reports also so many reports to manage your business. You can watch a lot of different videos actually where each and every feature explained in detail. Like we have explained the daily and weekly collection in this video. Now the last thing I'm going to explain here, what if you can give login to customer so that they can view their account and if required, they can also pay uh, using a digital payment. Like they can pay using a, a UPI or any uh, mobile uh, money or net banking or any other method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out from here and log in from customer account. And let's see what it is there. It shows showing one loans and then loan account three, what is the product scheme and loan details and customer has a flexibility. They can select any amount and pay using a digital payment, which will 
come from customer bank account to your bank account directly and bank will basically synchronize uh, Jainam software. So that is also very important. When customer will transfer the amount, you don't have to make uh, entry in Jainam software. Jainam software will take care of synchronizing that entry also automatically. All right. Uh, thank you for your time and watching this video. Please subscribe Jainam software channel so that you will get new videos, new functionalities about Jainam software in future. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.